My name is Erica Wade, and the name of my piece is Salway Girls Womanhood. I am my mother's child, high forehead, black faced girl. My birth calls her death, and raising a baby girl, my father reconciled. She bore me to mountains like lions, bloody submissions and war, but my people still saw diamonds. Little blood miners toiling away for Hollywood lights, wasted childhood, money changed through their hands but sifted away like Sierra Leone sand. My father wiped clean of me. He said, um, he mean, ugly. He prayed for strong boys to carry his name, but prayers fell short in the last of Four little girls came. Blame me for misfortunes and plagues he, but jumped quick when rich mine farmer came to claim me. I wear the mask of womanhood, where marriage is no love, just exchange of goods. My husband will expect sons from me, name carriers, but in reality, more mouths to feed. They'll be murderers, rapists, flesh hungry, still away from mountains like lions, strangers to Sierra Leone. And they will leave their oven broken, alone. They won't be of my seed because I am barren of opportunity. But today,
Laughter comes natural now because with perseverance comes perfection. And over time, because of my will to be diligent on my road to other self-satisfaction, I made my act flawless. Transparency does not apply. And so I am not I, which is me, but who am I? Who is me? If what you see is actually made believe that this person right here is nothing more than a figure of genius imagination, a work of art made flesh to a person that what society wants to see, hear, marvel, criticize, and further pulverize into clay. So easy to mold, shape, and control. All because my soul is so gullible. Because my mind surrendered, and now the real me is nothing but a drone. But somehow, the real me still cares. So she wallows in despair, in complete agony, because she can no longer be she. And the thought that she never will again, or accept it if she broke free, kills her conscience and burdens her heart. Because she knows that she should have been real from the start. And so, I hold up this glass in front of my mask. I don't see the facade. It's my God in itself. The one I've kept sheltered from the world, chained, battered, abused on a shelf. The person no one would ever know but myself. And fear rise majestically, tearing through my core. Avoiding to be seen to show itself to reality. Strong enough to wield my will, but too weak to defend itself. The real person remains in hiding, leaving who am I and who is me unanswered. Thank you.